In this video, we're going to learn about the neighborhood in Cambridge, Massachusetts that runs along the Charles River. That neighborhood is Riverside. Riverside is a residential neighborhood of Cambridge, Massachusetts, and it's bound by the Charles River, hence the name Riverside. And then River Street shoots up to Central Square and John F. Kennedy Street shoots up from the river to Harvard Square. And these streets, JFK Street and River Street, serve, as you will, as the boundaries along either side of the neighborhood. And then connecting Harvard Square to Central Square is Massachusetts Avenue. And that completes uh, the northern border, if you will, of the neighborhood that is known as Riverside. Riverside, as I mentioned, is mainly residential, and there is a large swath of Riverside that is Harvard, and Harvard housing primarily for undergraduates, sophomores, juniors, and seniors in the river houses. So these houses uh, are found largely between the Charles River, Massachusetts Avenue, JFK Street, and Putnam Avenue, and there's a whole host of them. So when we think of the river houses, we're thinking of Elliott House and Winthrop House, uh, Dunster House. Those are the three principal houses on the river. But there's also Kirkland House, Leverett House, uh, Mather House. I guess that's another one on the river. Um, Quincy House and Lowell House. So all these Harvard houses, uh, mainly for undergraduate, uh, sophomore, junior and senior housing, are located in the Riverside neighborhood. and. It's uh, an impressive uh, collection of well-maintained brick classical style uh, buildings. And it's, it's an impressive site. The, uh, the river houses are truly something special. As a Harvard student, uh, I lived in Elliott House, which is located at the corner of Memorial Drive along the Charles River and JFK Street that runs up to Harvard Square. And these river houses, uh, generally feature a central courtyard and uh, have dining halls and uh, spacious, comfortable rooms that uh, typically uh, have suites for students to share. And they're, uh, they're something to behold. When you walk down Mill Street in Riverside, which is located, it begins at the entrance to uh, Elliott House and then takes you out past the entrance to Winthrop House, it really almost feels like you're on a movie set or a place apart. It's uh, it's really something special, all of these great Harvard houses. You know, in Cambridge, we still have where the freshmen mainly live, Harvard Yard near Harvard Square. That's a very special place. And I think if Harvard was just about Harvard Yard, it would be wow. But then on top of it, you have all these river houses in Riverside and, uh, you know, the the university has been uh, slowly over time recently been renovating them. So they're extremely well maintained uh, and gosh, they're, uh, they're truly special. Now in Riverside as well is Peabody Terrace. And this is, uh, <laughs> as far as architecture goes, the polar opposite to the river houses, generally speaking. Uh, Joseph Louis Sert in 1964, 65 uh, is the architect that gets credit for this neo-brutalist collection um, of buildings that essentially serve now as graduate student housing at Harvard and feature three 22-story towers. And they're not everyone's cup of tea. Uh, I'm sure the views from these towers onto the river are spectacular. But, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's interesting. Architects, as I say, like these buildings, the local population, not so much, just because the architecture is so modern. And they do stand quite a bit in contrast to the more uh, classic brick style river homes in general found near them. So look, Harvard, as I said, has this huge presence in Riverside, mainly with these residential buildings. There are some other Harvard academic buildings in the neighborhood as well, but it's largely about these residential uh, buildings in Riverside. And again, Cambridge is a lot about Harvard and this neighborhood in particular plays a host to many Harvard buildings. Now, in addition to Harvard's um, very uh, felt presence in Riverside, especially in this quadrant of it, 
there's other things to share with you in this neighborhood. So I want to touch on the parks, the schools, uh, some other places, and real estate in Riverside as well. So starting with the parks, down on the Charles River is the uh, River Bend Park, and it's located essentially in front of the Harvard River Houses, starting at JFK Street where at that intersection with Memorial Drive, Memorial Drive being the main drag on the river, there is the Weld Boathouse, home mainly to the uh, heavyweight and lightweight Harvard women uh, crew teams, beautiful building right on the river. And uh, so that's sort of where Riverbend Park begins. And then it extends out uh, towards Western Avenue. And it's a grassy spot for people to sit down and enjoy unobstructed views of the Charles River. It's obviously uh, ground zero for head of the Charles weekend when people gather there to watch the boats in the annual boat race pass by on the river. And if you're just walking or biking or driving by Riverbend Park, it's a real uh, wonderful experience just because on one side you've got the Charles River and on the other side, you have these Harvard River houses. Uh, and again, it can almost feel like a place apart. It's very special. So that's Riverbend Park. Right in the middle of Riverbend Park is the Weeks Bridge, which takes you from Cambridge over the Charles River to the Boston side. And when you land there on the Weeks Bridge, you're at the edge of the Harvard Business School campus. So uh, that footbridge, uh, in the heart of Riverbend Park is an, another um, nice feature. There is, of course, other ways to cross the river, but to have a footbridge, to have the Weeks footbridge to get you to the business school is great. Uh, not too far from um, Riverbend Park on the other side of Memorial Drive is Corporal Burns Playground. It, it, it intersects with Memorial Drive at Flag Street and it's a park with basketball courts and a play area and Flag Street connects up to Putnam Avenue. And uh, this is a uh, classic uh, small scale city park that gets a lot of use. Running along the river, there are in addition two additional parks uh, along Memorial Drive. First, there's the uh, Riverside Press Park, which uh, is a park with tennis uh, and basketball. And uh, then there's a smaller park, Riverside City Park, uh, that dates from 2010. Uh, and it's uh, a park near the intersection of Western Avenue that has a sitting area and some uh, grassy areas. It's just a small little city park. The larger of the two is Riverside Press Park, which uh, is at the intersection of River Street and Memorial Drive, where, as I mentioned, there's tennis and basketball and you know open green space. So you've got all of these parks that are close to or on the Charles River in Riverside. And then in addition, I wanted to mention Hoyt Field. This is a, a tucked away green space uh, between Western Avenue and River Street with a baseball diamond and basketball courts and two tennis courts. So it's a, uh, a field, a, a play space that gets a lot of use for these activities. And it doesn't really call attention to itself. You sort of have to uh, look for it to find it. There is a pocket park to finish on the green spaces that I wanted to mention, which is the Franklin Street Park on Franklin Street. It's a house lot sized park uh, and it's really a true urban oasis. And it's just so well maintained and it almost you could go by it and miss it if you weren't looking for it, it's that small. But once you're there and you step into it, it's really a world unto itself. And again, I credit the city of Cambridge for doing such a great job in maintaining all of these parks in Riverside and throughout the city. The city of Cambridge, in my experience over the last 20 plus years, has done a fantastic job of maintaining all the parks. So beyond Harvard as a felt presence as a university in the Riverside neighborhood, there is a Cambridge Public School found here as well on Putnam Avenue. And it's at 102 Putnam Avenue, not far from Harvard Square. And this building was completed in late 2015, early 2016. It's a fairly substantial building uh, near the intersection of Putnam and Kennard. 
and it houses two schools. There is the Martin Luther King Junior School for students in pre-K through five with 300 plus students. And in addition, in the same building is the Putnam Avenue Upper School for students in grades six through eight. And we know in most parts of the country, grades six through eight is what most people call a middle school. In Cambridge, for whatever reason, the uh, middle schools are called upper schools. And one's found in this building, the Putnam Avenue Upper School, grade six through eight. So that's really a wonderful new reality now that that building is done. It seems like yesterday that it was completed, but it's already now beginning of 2016 that it, that it opened. And that was a substantial major construction project when it was going down. Uh, in terms of some places to share with you, I wanted to share three, uh, starting with uh, Pammy's. This is an Italian plate American restaurant uh, found on Massachusetts Avenue, not far from the intersection with Hancock. It's a cozy neighborhood restaurant and hats off to Pammy's in COVID times for adding outdoor seating. First, they started with takeout, then they added the outdoor seating. So they're certainly committed to remaining the cozy neighborhood restaurant they are uh, when it was that you could do in-person dining, which I hope will be part and parcel of its future when we're through this. Uh, it's a very inviting space with a nice bar and beautiful seating areas. And it really is a, a nice addition to the neighborhood. Pam and Chris Willis, the husband and wife that run it, live not far from the restaurant. And uh, I'm just so thrilled that Pammy's is part of this neighborhood and part of the Cambridge dining scene. In addition, in Riverside, I wanted to mention uh, Alive and Kicking Lobsters, uh, and this is located uh, set back from the street on Putnam Avenue, not far from River Street, and it's a Spartan fresh seafood uh, little hole in the wall with outdoor seating, known for its lobster sandwiches. And it's one of these kind of classic off the road New England style fresh seafood destinations that you almost expect more to find on a road trip to Maine than you do around the corner in Riverside. And uh, I'm just so grateful that uh, Alive and Kicking Lobsters is part and parcel of the whole Riverside neighborhood scene. Uh, third, as a place, I wanna mention a place that once existed in Riverside, which is Club 47, uh, now known as Club Passim. So Club 47 uh, was founded in 1958 as a cafe and folk music and blues music establishment. And many famous folk music artists got their start here. Uh, and perhaps most famous uh, would be Joan Baez, who having just graduated from high school, having just moved from Palo Alto to uh, Belmont, Massachusetts with her family, uh, was known to uh, hang out in Harvard Square, play music on the streets, and she eventually found her way to the stage here. And, well, the rest is history. Of course, uh, if you know her music, which is so wonderful, it's just so exciting to know she sort of got her start in this uh, neighborhood at this famous club. The club moved in 1963 to Palmer Street in Harvard Square, where it's currently located, and it changed its name in 1969 uh, to Passim. But way back in 58, it was Club 47 at 47 Mount Auburn Street in the Riverside neighborhood, not far from uh, the Harvard Lampoon. I should mention the Harvard Lampoon uh, in the neighborhood uh, located at 44 Bow Street. This Hearst Street Castle uh, is the home to the Harvard Lampoon, the uh, comedy, uh, club at Harvard, where many famous comedians over the years have uh, been members and uh, written and uh, gone on to great fame with late night television and other venues. And so here's their home, the Harvard Lampoon. <clears throat> I've always wanted to go in and I didn't as a student and I wish now that I had. Uh, it's a super special building to look at from the outside. I can imagine it's extra special as well on the inside. And again, it's one of those buildings that make you appreciate that Cambridge is a place apart and Riverside as a neighborhood in Cambridge is a pretty special place. In terms of real estate, as a top real estate agent over the last 20 plus years in Cambridge, I've been a part of a number of transactions in the Riverside neighborhood. And I thought I would share with you 
uh, three, just to give you a sense of real estate in Riverside. So starting with two townhomes in the same three unit complex, uh, close to Harvard Square uh, off Putnam Avenue, these townhomes feature private in-home elevators. And in 2018 and 2020, I was part of two resales here. The complex was born in the year 2000. And these are uh, two and three bedroom townhomes with garage parking. And as I mentioned, private in-home elevators. They also feature some private garden outdoor space respectively. So these are truly special uh, Riverside residences on the doorstep of Harvard Square. And uh, what a treat to experience being in them. Wonderful Riverside city homes. Next, I wanna mention a building, one of 12 concierge buildings in uh, Cambridge, and it's located at 950 Massachusetts Avenue in the Riverside neighborhood between Harvard Square and Central Square. This building is known as the Bay Square Building. It went up in 1989, has 110 units, uh, underground garage parking on two levels, uh, and uh, mostly uh, one and two bedroom residences are found at Bay Square. It is a concierge building. They do have an outdoor pool and uh, it's a very well-maintained building. So it depends on when you look, but there's typically something for sale at 950 Massachusetts Avenue. And uh, you can uh, discover more on this building at my website, cambridgerealestate.com. And there I maintain a dedicated page on this address. Over the years, I've listed and sold several uh, residences in the building and I'm very familiar with it. Uh, third on my list, I wanted to share um, a townhome closer to Central Square, um, tucked away behind it in the Riverside neighborhood and is a residence I sold back in 2013 with uh, three bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms and um, three levels of living, garage parking. And most impressive, a roof deck, a wraparound roof deck with city views. And it's, it's representative of, uh, you know, the kind of place that you can find in Riverside that may not call attention to itself on a major avenue like Mass Ave, but can be tucked away in a side street and have some real pluses like this wraparound roof deck with city views. So this is a sort of general overview of Riverside as a neighborhood. And as I said at the start of the video, it does have a very strong Harvard University presence with its collection of buildings. And there are many people who live in the Riverside neighborhood who uh, are working at Harvard or connected to Harvard in some fashion or capacity. So Harvard certainly is a very strong felt presence with Harvard Square at one end of Riverside and Central Square at the other. You know, Riverside is well positioned uh, between the squares to have easy access to restaurants, shop services, and the like. And then of course, the neighborhood takes its name from the Charles River, which is such a strong felt presence and Memorial Drive running along the river is great as uh, are the parks found there. So Riverside love this neighborhood and everything that defines it, it is just truly special. My name is Charles Cherney. I'm a top real estate agent here to help you buy the right home or sell for the best price in Riverside or other neighborhoods of Cambridge, as well as neighboring Somerville. You can reach me by text, telephone, or email at any time. Reach out. I'm here to connect with you to be of service. And if you're just looking for more information about the market, your home, or the community, uh, I'd love to hear from you and be of service. I love Cambridge and Somerville and the neighborhoods that define them. And as you may gather from this video, uh, learning about them, exploring them is what my life has been about these last two plus decades. So here to help, be of service. And I would encourage you to stay on this channel to learn more about Cambridge. Take care.